A rotor resistance starter, also known as a slippering starter or external resistor starter, is an electrical motor starting method that is used to control the starting torque and current of induction motors. It involves inserting external resistors in the rotor circuit to increase the resistance during motor starting. This method is commonly used in applications where high starting torque is required, such as large motors or situations with high starting loads. Let's talk about its working principle. A rotor resistance starter operates by inserting external resistors in series with the rotor windings of an induction motor during the starting process. The resistors are connected to the rotor winding through slip rings and brushes. Here is a step-by-step -step explanation of the working principle. Initial state, the motor is at rest and the rotor resistance starter is in its normal position with all the external resistors disconnected. Starting sequence, when the motor is started. The external resistors are gradually connected to the rotor circuit using a control device, such as contactor or switches. Initially, all the resistors are connected in the circuit to provide maximum starting resistance. Resistance reduction, as the motor gains speed and reaches a certain preset speed or torque, some of the external resistors are gradually bypassed or shorted out of the rotor circuit, reducing the total resistance. This step-by-step -step reduction of resistance allows the motor to accelerate smoothly. Full speed operation, once the motor reaches its full speed, all the external resistors are completely bypassed and the rotor circuit is effectively shorted out. The motor operates at its rated speed and torque without any resistance in the rotor circuit. Moving on to the advantages of rotor resistance starters. High starting torque. By increasing the rotor resistance during starting, a rotor resistance starter provides higher starting torque making it suitable for applications with high starting loads or where the motor needs to start under heavy loads. Controlled starting current, the use of external resistors helps limit the starting current, preventing excessive voltage drop and reducing stress on the motor windings. Smooth acceleration, the step-by-step -step reduction of resistance allows for a gradual acceleration of the motor, resulting in smooth starting and reduced mechanical stress. Talking about the disadvantages of rotor resistance starters. 1. Energy loss. The use of external resistors in the rotor circuit leads to energy losses in the form of heat dissipation. This results in reduced overall motor efficiency. 2. Complex construction. Rotor resistance starters require slip rings, brushes, and additional control devices, making them mechanically more complex and potentially requiring maintenance. 3. Limited speed control. Rotor resistance starters do not provide precise speed control, as speed regulation is dependent on the motor load and the resistance values used. Now, applications of rotor resistance starters. Large induction motors Rotor resistance starters are commonly used in applications that require high starting torque, such as large fans, pumps, compressors, and conveyor systems. High starting loads, industries like mining, cement, and steel often use rotor resistance starters to start motors driving heavy machinery and equipment. Applications requiring smooth starting, Rotor resistance starters are suitable for applications where a smooth and controlled start is necessary to prevent mechanical shocks or damage to the driven equipment. Variable speed drives, in some cases. Rotor resistance starters can be used as a part of a variable speed drive system by varying the resistance during motor operation to achieve speed control. It's important to note that rotor resistance starters are becoming less common in modern motor control systems. As other methods like variable frequency drives, VFDs, 
and electronic soft starters offer more efficient and precise control over motor starting and speed regulation. We will learn what is soft starting in the upcoming video. Till then keep learning and keep exploring.